Hi, this is Hongshu from MotionCircles.com. Today I'll be teaching you how to achieve this animation in After Effects. I've attached the working file in the description. Feel free to download it and follow along. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Alright, first we need to make the gradient background. To do that, right now you can see in my composition, I've filled my composition with all these circles in different sizes and different colors. Over here on top, I have this color combination. This is the color palette I got from the internet. And this is the color that I want to use for my gradient background. You can use a different color palette. Any different color palette with higher contrast between each colors can work in the same fashion here. And now I've already filled all these different circles with the color that I like, I can turn off or delete this layer now. Over here, we don't have animation yet within my composition. I only have all these colored circles and then a blue background. So to animate the gradient color, we need to pre-compose all these layers, select everything, and then Command-Shift-C. Let's call this background. Click on OK. And now we need to add some special effects. First, we need to do a motion tile. For the motion tile, I'm thinking at zero seconds, let's hit this tile center stopwatch, add a keyframe, hit you on the keyboard, show the keyframe. Now I want to drag out some rulers to mark the position of this lighter blue circle so that I know where this circle is. And then at zero seconds, we have this light blue circle over here. Let's move to six seconds. Let's drag this tile center and then make sure we have one loop so that this light blue circle is coming back to the same position as we started. Now we've done the X position, I need to drag the Y position as well so that we have one loop on the Y position and then this blue circle is coming back to the same position. If I play this animation, you can see my pattern is moving diagonally. That's what we want. Although you can see these edges, we can either do a mirror edges effect so that we got a seamless pattern over here and another way since we're going to add some blurred effect on this pattern i don't think this edge matter much so i'll leave it there for now let's go to effects and presets let's add in another effects called fast box blur now for the blur radius let's try 200 if i play the animation you can see we got this gradient background animation I think that works for now. And since the color is mostly gone, I got this pale background. I also want to bring back some color. So in the effects and presets, let's search for vibrance and let's turn up the vibrance to maybe 60%. And you can see my blue color is more vibrant now. That's good. If I play the animation, this is my animation for the backgrounds. I think that works for me. Now that we've done our background, let's work on the gradient sphere now. To make the gradient sphere, let's duplicate this background, Command D, and then we can call this one sphere. Now inside the effects control panel, we need to add in more effects to make it a sphere. Let's go to add a CC sphere effect and let's delete the vibrance for now. I want to adjust the color in the CC sphere first before I do any color correction. So within the CC Sphere, you can see we have our sphere generated with the previous gradient background. However, it's got some shading to it. So we need to go inside the setting. Let's go inside the lights and then let's make sure the light intensity is zero. And then let's change the light height to 100. Let's go to the shading. Let's change the ambient to 100. And now you can see we don't have that much shading anymore. Now you can see we got this almost transparent sphere. Let's make the sphere bigger by changing the radius here. And since it's having the exact same pattern as the gradient background so that it's almost disappearing from the background. So the way I wanna do this is let's try to maybe offset this animation a little bit. Maybe let it starting from here so that the gradient is not exactly the same so that there's some difference between the gradient inside the sphere and the background. Now let's add in a curves adjustment. 
I want to give it more contrast. Yep, that's nice. Very nice and subtle. And then the last thing I want to do on this one is a drop shadow. Let's go to add a drop shadow. Change the softness. Sample this yellow color here. It's good. And now we have a soft drop shadow on the sphere here. Yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. We can also change the size like this. I'll just move it over here. Now that I have one sphere, I just need to duplicate a couple more, Command D, and then maybe make this one smaller. Make it smaller over here, and then we can change the rotation. Maybe also change the direction of the drop shadow. Since it's smaller, so we can tone down the drop shadow. And then we get sphere number two, and then we got a couple more spheres, number four, number three. Change the sizes. And now we got these spheres going on. Another way you can do this is you can change these little spheres to a different color combination that's similar to this one, so that you got more variation to your whole scene here. But now I'm liking what I have here. Now I just need to animate these spheres coming into the scene. Let's go at a position keyframe, hit P on the keyboard, go forward 20 frames, and then we can drop this one up and then move these two down. Let's select all the keyframe, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and then let's go to the graph editor. Make sure we're dragging the curves editor like this so that we have a animation similar to this one. Now we can offset the keyframe a little bit so that they're not all coming up at the same time. That looks pretty cool. And then we can add in our text animation. We got our text here. Maybe we can do some position animation as well. Select the keyframe, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Let's drag these curves. And then let's cut the layer here and then let the text coming in once our gradient circle comes up. Let me have the main text coming in first, this. That's our animation. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, please leave me a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We will be publishing more After Effects tutorials like this every single week. In addition, we also have a free exclusive community where motion designers hang out and learn from each other. Click the link in the description to join our exclusive community. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.